Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm gonna be making a base for my Milwaukee table saw. So I wanna make it fully cordless table saw and base with dust extraction as well. So I'm gonna try and mount this Makita 18 volt little dust extractor underneath it. So stay tuned and we'll get into that. So this is a rough design I come up with using SketchUp. Um, it'll also have casters on it, but I wasn't really 100% sure on how to get the casters on there. So I just drew the base, which is what we'll be making in this video. To make the base of the table saw, I'm gonna be using 12 millimeter plywood. Should be plenty strong enough to hold the saw and the weight. It's only about 20 kilos, so it's not too bad. Um, had a bit of drum with this wood here. It was a bit bowed and they didn't really have any other stuff So this was the best I could really get and I just cut it as best as I could on my old table saw Then jumped on the miter saw and cut them down to length thought it would be a bit easier on here and a bit safer than using my old table saw Here I'm just marking out the uh, pattern for the screws. I think I went about five screws along each edge, 25 million from each end. And for screws I used tw uh, eight gauge by 30 millimeter screws. Here I've just got my slide square set to six millimeters just to make sure I drill the holes in the right spot and get the screws right in the middle of the 12 millimeter sheets. I then went round with a countersink drill bit and drilled the holes for the screws and countersunk them. I decided to use some wood glue as well just to help with the bond. It probably won't do a whole lot considering it's plywood and I'm gluing along the edge. But um, yeah, so I decided to just glue it and screw it and this is what I'm getting up to here. Here I tried to just screw straight into the timber without running an extra pre-drill into the other piece of uh, plywood. It didn't work that great, it sort of moved the wood when I screwed it in. Um, so up the other end here you can see me um, lining it up and running the drill bit in again to make sure the screw goes in and doesn't move the other piece of wood. I then went through and screwed off the rest of the box and put the remaining screws in.
So I had some trouble with the video. Um, so this is what it's looking like now. I basically just put the vacuum in there and um, left about 12 mil gap. So I just got a bit of plywood, put that next to the vacuum and squished it right to one side of the base. And then I pushed the middle board that you can see there against that. And then I measured the gap that I had and then just marked that out on the top and the bottom and drilled and put in some screws to hold that in there. Um, so yeah, and then once I'd done that, as you can see, I went down, drilled holes and countersunk them for the casters down the bottom. So I've got two swivel with a brake on the front and then I've just got stationary ones on the back. Um, so yeah, I just got M8 by 25 millimeter countersunk bolts. I think they've got a tamper proof head on the top as well. But yeah, so I just whacked those in and also drilled a hole in the back there for the, the dust extraction hose to go out the back and through on top to the table saw. And then I've also drilled some holes for the table saw to bolt to. So I'll show you how I did that. So these Milwaukee saws have these little rubber feet on the corners and they're just held in with a small metal screw, goes through there into there. So what I did, I went through with a six mil drill bit and drilled those holes out on both sides. And I sat the saw on top of the base and marked the holes out with the drill bit and drilled them through. So I'll just be, I wanna keep these rubber feet on here just to help with any vibration dampening. So I'll whack those back on and I'll run a bolt straight through there and they're on all four feet. So here I am just putting the drawer together. Um, it was a lot easier this time. I decided to use the uh, nail gun. So I just put a few 18 gauge brad nails in just to tack it all up and tack it together. Um, I probably should have done that when I put the big box together just to make it a bit easier on myself, but I didn't really want to use nails if I didn't have to, but I'm finding it a lot easier to use them. So I'm doing that here and then I'm yeah, gluing it again and going through and I'll screw it off later on. Here I am having a crack at installing drawer slides. I've never installed drawer slides before, so it was a bit of a learning experience for me, which was cool. Um, it worked out not too bad. I accidentally made a bit of a mistake, which you'll see in a minute here. Here I'm just screwing the uh, drawers in now. I might be able to explain my mistake now. So what I did was I pushed the, the depth of the box is 405 millimeters and the drawer slides are 400 millimeters long. So what I did, I pushed the drawer slides touching the back and I've lined them up flush with the front, which means the drawer will sit five millimeters in from the front, which was where I went wrong. Here I am thinking I've absolutely nailed it and then I finally realise my mistake 
and start undoing it and fixing it up. Here I am fixing that mistake. So what I did was I took the drawer slides off and I used the front of the drawer, which you'll see here, and I used it to get the drawer sitting in flush and that worked well. And then I got a um, slide square on each side and measured how far in the front of the drawer slide was so that when I had to pull the drawer out and line it up, I could use the slide square to set the distance back that the drawer slide had to sit from the front of the drawer. Now I'm just using my brad nailer again to nail the drawer on. I didn't want to nail it from the front because um, I didn't want to see the nails from the front. It is only a workshop piece so it's not a big deal but I wanted to try and do it without having to nail it from the front. Um, wasn't really sure how to tackle that so if anyone's got any ideas let me know on how you can get the drawer on there without nailing it from the front. And now I'm just marking out uh, my handle. So for the handle, I'm just decided to drill a hole uh, in the middle, just like for a finger pull. Um, I wanted to put a handle on there, but I thought it would be better to do that and it clears up the front of the table saw stand so there's nothing really hanging off it that can get snagged on me or my wheelchair. Now I'm just drilling uh, an extra hole in the back here, so I'm measuring it up for where the uh, blowing port on this vacuum is. I just wanted to make sure that that had plenty of, plenty of clearance to be able to just blow straight out the back of the stand. So I measured that up here, and I'll turn around and mark it and drill that hole with a hole saw. Now I'm just going around with the trim router to tidy up the finger pull and make sure that there's no sharp edges on it and it's nice and comfortable for me to use. While I had the router out I decided to go around and try and tidy this drawer face up as well. Um, it, because of the sheets had bows in it, it didn't line up very well so I went around and tidied it up to line all the edges up and it worked really well. And now I'm just drilling the feed out for the table saw so the bolts will fit through. I've now bolted the table saw down. I did that off camera, um, but yeah, simply just put the bolts through all the feet and bolted it down. And now I'm just test fitting the vacuum to make sure it all goes in well. And it fits awesome and everything works really well.
absolutely stoked on how this stand came out. Um, can't wait to use it. First, I've got to line up the table soon, calibrate that, but yeah, it should be awesome. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.